Hello everyone, Jonathan Schlack, E. Weather here with a Hebrew weather update for the day two outlook. I'm going to start you off in the northeast United States first. We have a slightly severe weather tomorrow. Then compasses central and north central Virginia, Washington, D.C., central and eastern Maryland, most of Delaware, eastern Pennsylvania, which includes my area, most of New Jersey, southeast New York State, which includes New York City and western half of Long Island. Northwestern, well, western half of Connecticut, western half of Massachusetts, southern Vermont, and southwestern New Hampshire. We have a margin risk for severe weather tomorrow that covers the far northeastern corner of Tennessee, <clears throat> uh, north central, northern North Carolina, central and eastern West Virginia, most of Virginia, the Panhandle, and southeastern Maryland, the Panhandle of Maryland, and southeastern Maryland, I should say. South Asian Delaware, the Jersey coastline, Central Pennsylvania, uh, Central and North Asian New York State, the Eastern half of Long Island, Eastern half of Connecticut, Rhode Island, Eastern half of Massachusetts, most of Vermont, most of New Hampshire, and most of Maine. And going back here, we have a margin risk for severe, severe weather tomorrow that covers Eastern, eastern Wyoming, Far southwestern North Dakota, western Nebraska, eastern half of Colorado, western Kansas, northeastern New Mexico, far northwestern Texas, and the western half of the Panhandle of Oklahoma. And the tornado threat for tomorrow is pretty much less than two percent in all areas, so there's no, there's no risk area for a tornado tomorrow. So there's not really a tornado threat tomorrow because there's no risk area for tomorrow. Going over to the wind, we have a 15% chance of damaging wind gusts of 58 miles per hour or higher tomorrow. That covers Central and North Central Virginia, Washington, D.C., Central and Eastern Maryland, uh, most of Delaware, most of New Jersey, Eastern Pennsylvania, which includes my area, Southeast New York State, which includes New York City and the western half of Long Island, western half of Connecticut, western half of Massachusetts. Southern Vermont and southwestern New Hampshire. We have a five percent chance of damaging wind gusts of fifty eight miles per hour higher tomorrow that covers the far northeastern part of West of Tennessee, northern North Carolina, central and eastern West Virginia, most of Virginia, the Panhandle of Maryland and southeastern Maryland, southeastern Delaware, the Jersey Coast, Central Pennsylvania, Central and Northeastern New York State, the eastern half of Long Island, Eastern half of Connecticut, all of Rhode Island, eastern half of Massachusetts, most of Vermont, most of New Hampshire, and most of Maine. We have a fiber can chance of damaging wind gusts of 58 miles per hour higher tomorrow that covers eastern Wyoming, far southwestern South Dakota, western Nebraska, eastern half of Colorado, far western Kansas, the western part of the panhandle of Oklahoma, Far northwestern Texas and northeastern New Mexico. Now going to the hail for tomorrow. We have a five percent chance of hail, one inch in diameter or larger tomorrow. That covers eastern Wyoming, eastern Wyoming, I should say, western Nebraska, parts of eastern Colorado, and northeastern New Mexico. Now going to the summary for tomorrow. Isolated storm to severe thunderstorms are possible from the Carolinas in New England on Wednesday, which is tomorrow, with a corridor of greater coverage from northeast Virginia into the Hudson Valley and adjacent southern Vermont and western Massachusetts. Isolated strong to severe st- thunderstorms are possible across the central high plains as well. So, that's all I got for today. There's a severe threat for today, which I covered in the previous video, so if you want to check that out. If you want more information about the day one outlook, check out the previous video, because I covered today's threat in the day one outlook, the previous video. So, this one's the day two outlook. So, stay safe in the affected areas both today and tomorrow, and I will have another update tomorrow. Take care.